Are you tired of importing your leads from Salesforce to your cold outreach software? You feel like it's double the work and a lot of the process is too manual, or you have to contact your ops team every day. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm going to show you today how within Lemlist you can set up one seamless integration so you can automatically import all of the leads from a particular lead list within Salesforce straight to your Lemlist campaign. What does that mean? It means you're ready to prospect them super quickly. So here's how to do it. First things first, you've got to connect up your Salesforce to Lemlist. So come up here to settings, click on integrations, scroll down, and here you go. You have the Salesforce connected just here. If it's not connected, all you need to do is scroll down to this section here where you'll see the connect button. You click connect, log into your Salesforce and automatically it will appear here. Now, one thing before I show you how you can import the leads from Salesforce to Lemlist is just to check this out. Here is where you can choose to store Lemlist activities. So anything that happens within Lemlist will be transferred back to your CRM. For example, when someone replies, when someone opens an email, when there are clicks, when a lead's bounced, whatever it may be, you can choose to have these as completed tasks or events within Salesforce. So it depends on what the kind of reporting structure you have at your company is but you have the flexibility to save them as either and here you've got some examples of the activity log we'll look at this in a second from within the campaign as well but here you can see you can choose whether or not to log anything so you can choose the email activities sent opened you've got all of this here that you can choose to track again if something happens within Lemlist this is what's being tracked back in your CRM in Salesforce lead activities so when Lemcal meeting has been booked when someone's been marked as interested that kind of thing LinkedIn activities as well so from within Lemlist of course you can automate LinkedIn steps and this is where you can choose to track them again. And then you have API activities as well. Now let's go on to actually importing the leads to Lemlist. Let's go over to any campaign, create a new campaign. We come on to lead list. So we ignore the sequence for just a second, import new leads, click CRM import, click Salesforce, continue with Salesforce. Nice and easy so far. Then what we're going to do is this here. So we need to choose a Salesforce account. I'll choose myself. And here is where you can import the type of synchronization that you need. So you can either have lead filters that you want to synchronize. You can have contact filters or report filters. Let's just choose lead filters. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Here within Salesforce, as you guys, I'm sure know, this is what you have as a lead filter. So here we have all the different list views for leads. What we can do is we can choose recently viewed. This is a particular lead list within Salesforce. And we may want to import all of these leads here to prospect. So what we do is we come back here. Instead of choosing this one, we choose lead view filter, we choose recently viewed leads. And again, you can import any of the different types you have here. All you need to do is create the list in Salesforce and it will appear here. Recently viewed leads, option to automatically pause the lead if they no longer match this particular lead list. So let's say, for example, they're not recently viewed anymore, then they will not appear and they will not synchronize to the Lemlist campaign anymore. Another example is, let's say it's based on geography. You're importing a lead list on geography. So if they're not currently based in the US, then they will not be in this campaign and therefore you will not prosper them with particular US based prospection tips. So what we can do is we can automatically pause the lead here and click continue. Then we can choose to verify the existing emails if we would like to. And importantly, we can manage the duplicates. So by clicking this, we won't import any leads that are already in this campaign being prospected. If we click this, we won't import any leads that are being prospected at all in any Lemlist campaign. So important to not keep spamming people and then get marked to spam and then you have poor deliverability, so on and so on and so on. So we click confirm here and then that's it. It's connected all the leads and imported them that were in that particular lead list and they're here ready to do whatever it is that you would like to do with them and then what will happen is you can refresh anytime you like so let's say you add a lead in this lead filter here within salesforce you can come along refresh and it will appear here exactly like that so no more pushing and pulling no more manually doing stuff no more needing to go to the ops team as nice as they might be you can just do it all yourself and automatically any lead that appears here within salesforce will be pushed straight to your lemlist campaign so let's use a real world example what does that mean well it means that we can come here and we can add an email step if we wanted to we can add our email and what we can do is we can imagine for example that this lead list within salesforce is connected with people that signed up for a free trial of lemlist it's pretty easy to set up perhaps you have that integration already with your crm what you can do is you can send an email saying hi first name sorry signed up for a free trial of lemlist fancy a quick demo of course with your lemcal link booked and then what you can do once this is in the review section so now you have your sequence you have all of these different emails you may want to come and verify them let's go and verify these emails here verify 74 emails got to wait a minute or two there you go once we've found the deliverable emails what we can come do is come along here and we can set up an auto review so all of the deliverable emails as soon as they arrive in here what we want to happen is we want to launch this campaign so that we get them sent off this email as soon as possible you can see the custom variables being filled in all filled in nicely the email looks good obviously you write a better email than this but the point is what you can do within lemnis is you can auto review 
these leads. So as soon as they arrive in your Salesforce lead list, they automatically synchronize to Lemlist. And then because this auto review feature is enabled, you can make sure that every single email is verified and you can even find the email if you don't have it from within Lemlist because Lemlist also has an inbuilt enrichment tool. And as soon as they appear here, they will be sent this email campaign on autopilot. So you don't have to worry about it. Why is this a good use case? Just as an example. Well, the reason is this is more effective because if you reach out to someone and you take longer than five minutes, the conversion rate drops to something like 80% less. This is a really nice way that you can automate this kind of thing. And of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be linked to speed. You can make sure everything's clean by having this connection set up between your Salesforce filters and Lemlist. One thing just to show you an example. So when I mentioned earlier about events, this is what it looks like within Salesforce. For example, open a message one from campaign Salesforce demo. It will be saved within Salesforce just like this. And again, another way you can do that aside from the integration steps that I showed you earlier is come up to settings in your campaign CRM integration. And then here you have a load of different options for Salesforce about how to configure data exporting to the CRM. So you can select an action. You can say change the lead status to open when a message is sent. For example, there's that one. Then you can add a new trigger, change lead status to closed when lead is marked as not interested. Lots of different ways that you can do it. You can play around. I'm not going to go through any more than that. There's a huge amount of ways that you can optimize your transition and your connection between Lemlist and your CRM. Final thing then, let's look at these. This is the activity log that I mentioned earlier. Let's say you don't want to track any email activities. You can click that button there, but of course you probably do. So you want to make sure that you have all of these connected LinkedIn activities as well. If you've got LinkedIn steps within here, of course, to have LinkedIn step sheets, have the URL connected as well within your CRM so that when you import it, Lemlist is able to visit those profiles, connect with people and so on. But you can do it and you can make sure that everything's tracked there as well, et cetera, et cetera. Everything's there for you. And if you click on this one here, you get taken to this page and here that you can choose to either store Lemlist activities as completed tasks or events within Salesforce. Whatever you choose, whatever your particular data team likes to create reports, Ports based on, you can choose this here within them. And one thing to note, just that I make sure I don't forget, this is the report Salesforce integration that the support team very kindly prepared. So you can come along and check any of this out as well. If you have any further questions, just make sure to remember that to import the leads without issues in your campaign, you must have the following default Salesforce fields added in the view, lead ID or contact ID, email, and not another custom one. So something to bear in mind. If you have any questions, of course, you click on this button and the support team will be there to help you. Or you can reach out in the comments if there is any further questions you have. Nice and easy. No more manual import. No more worrying about whether data is transferred or not. No more constantly going to Salesforce to import your leads to your sales engagement platform. All you need to do is click the link and they do it manually. Simple as that. If you want to try Lemonist yourself for free, click the link in the description 